Hello, Uggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. We're going to talk today about uh, an interesting uh, proposal that uh, Al Vadnais has for uh, a Van Dipole, and we'll see what's going to happen. Um, here's what he has in mind. Oh, by the way, he is KI5LBY. Okay, KI5LBY. He wants to he wants to do a fan dipole like this. This is looking down at the top. Okay. And he's got a pole, and that's the top of the pole. And he wants to run a fan dipole from here, one element for 80. Uh, here's an element for 40. Um, element for 30 if you want it. Um, and so on. He's got the, the different elements right there. Now, instead of ref just simply reflecting that structure over here on the other side, what he's going to do is feed this as though it were an end fed on each of these. He wants to put a nine to one balance. I would probably recommend a 49 to one balance. Okay, right there. So now we're talking about end fed. And the thing is, now this changes this. This cannot be a quarter wave like you would uh, normally think. This needs to be an entire dipole. Okay, an entire dipole. So that means for 80 meters, it's going to be 40 meters or 132 feet long for that. It's an end-fed dipole. These are end-fed dipoles also. 49 to 1 ballot. And then you he wants to put uh, a counterpoise here that's a uh, quarter way for whatever and then run the coax from that. Well the counterpoise may or may not be necessary. Uh, you can try it without it. You can put it there if it will work. This is your coax. Okay here are your end fed dipoles. Alright. Now you would be, I think, a lot better off. You can do this. Would it work? Probably. Probably. Okay. You'd have a lot of trimming to do and a lot of testing and everything like that. Since you're doing an end fed dipole, why not just skip these? And you may or may not need the uh, counterpoise. And you have an end-fed uh, half-wave dipole on 80 meters. You can do this at 40 if you want. It'd be 66 feet long. Okay. And that'll give you, this would give you 40 and up. This would give you 80 and up. Okay. And the counterpoise, maybe, maybe not. With the end-fed antennas, you don't need that. The other thing that you can do, if you want to, is run a, um, just a simple fan dipole. Okay, if this is 40, this is 80, the 40 will do for 15. You do this on 20 and so on. This just gives you a standard fan dipole. You don't need a ballon or a nun here. Just strictly feed it with 50 ohms because the center impedance here is within some range of, uh, of 50 ohms. Um, and you should be able to tune this with the tuner in your rig. 
Um, okay. So that is my response to your proposal. There's no reason not to try it. You might find that you get an interesting pattern to a new DX area, or that uh, you get a little bit better NVIS, or that the local stations no longer bother you. you you'll find something. I mean, every antenna configuration is um, a trade-off between various good things and bad things. So. Uh, there you have it. If you uh, would please subscribe, that helps the channel quite a bit actually. All you have to do is just click subscribe. It doesn't create any obligation on your part, uh, but it does help uh, the channel uh, and shows YouTube that the channel is of enough interest to you to click that uh, subscribe. Also click like. Uh, you can click the bell if you want notifications, however you get your new YouTube notifications. Also, if you'd like to support this channel financially, you may do so by going to decastlercom slash support. And you might find a way there that you like. So, until we next meet, 73.